Now this video is in response to a question one of our viewers asked, which is what kind of exercises or things they can practice before they do their anesthesia rotation. So there's fine motor skills and then just endurance and strength of very, for various techniques. If you need a cannulation, having this kind of grip, which is a thumb and forefinger, but then being able to flick this off without changing your hand position, I think is really valuable. This seems like a bit of a subtle skill, but when you're drawing up medications, you need to be able to maneuver and manipulate your syringe just with one hand. Now one of the crucial strength skills I think is bag masking. What I find is it's this muscle here. So you're holding a grip that looks kind of like that and you'll find your intrinsic muscles, your thena and hypothena eminence, just having that level of physical fitness, whether it's through going to the gym or bouldering or climbing or doing other kinds of physical activity where you have to hold instruments. I think that's a really useful thing to just develop that intrinsic hand muscle skill and strength. Now, laryngoscopy can be an incredibly difficult task, especially if your patient has an incredibly heavy head or a difficult airway. So I encourage her to keep her elbow next to her body, and that means that your arm essentially doesn't have to move. You're not using your deltoids much, and you can then really focus on keeping this angle and this action in the right position. Now, if you have any other skills that you think are worthwhile trying to master, and if you have any tips on how to master them, please write in the comments below. Thanks a lot.